Gold ball. Never heard of the term. What what is gold ball? I think it's like soccer. Something similar to soccer. Quidditch from Harry Potter. <laughs> I don't actually know. is played by two teams of three on a court measuring 18 metres long by 9 metres wide. Each team stays at their own end of the court and the idea is to throw a ball that has bells inside of it down to the other length of the court to try and score a goal. Whilst in defence, players really throw themselves across the court to stop the ball from going into their goal. Everyone on court, no matter what their vision is, is 100% blindfolded for the duration of the match. One of the rules is that they are not allowed to touch their blindfolds at all, even to readjust it without getting permission from the referee. Another rule is that you need to throw the ball within, it needs to pass the halfway line within 10 seconds of your team first touching it. You need to throw the ball along the ground so it needs to touch the floor at least three times before it gets to the other end. If you don't touch the floor with the ball before what we call the high ball line and the long ball line, then that also results in a penalty. And the other major rule is that you're not allowed to make noise whilst you're on the throwing team. Once the thrower commences their throwing action, you need to be quiet so that the team at the other end can hear the ball coming at them. Quiet, please. Light. The history of goalball is quite an interesting topic. It is one of the very few sports that comes from physiotherapy, from rehabilitation. It was actually designed in 1946 by an Austrian and a German, and together they slowly got people together as a team. And the people who were undergoing their physiotherapy were people who had um, grenades had exploded near them so they'd lost their eyesight, or their house when it was bombed um, was crushed upon them and they lost their eyesight that way. So from World War II, um, it got people together and it taught people that you can actually, loss of vision is an impairment, but it's not a disability. Who got me into goalball? Um, that was actually a guy by the name of uh, Ben. Um, he used to come out to the schools and do um, demonstrations and then I said, Mum, I really want to play this sport, so she got me into it. Um, signed me up and I've been playing since I was about seven and when I was seven I couldn't throw the ball down the court. <laughs> when I was younger I used to be very scared of the ball because it does hurt when it hits you. So I used to think that if you curled up it would make it hurt less. But actually if you dive out more it makes it hurt less. So yeah. I mainly enjoy throwing a very hard ball at someone and scoring goals with it. And you know like the mateship, the camaraderie, yeah. it's really fun. So there's a couple of different ways to throw the ball. So you can do a flat throw, um, a forward throw, so you can just run up and throw the ball flat along the ground, kind of like a bowling action. Uh, you can also do a discus flat ball, so you spin in a 360 and throw the ball flat. You can also bounce the ball, uh, so you can bounce it, run up and bounce it, and you can also discus bounce it. So the achievements uh, that I have made in goalball is starting here at Social Comp and working my way into the Queensland team in my first year, working my way into an Australian squad within the next year and a half and properly representing Australia. Going to the Paralympics was an unbelievable uh, experience. Um, it was one that I had hoped for since the age of nine, but I didn't expect. It's one of the few team sports that I can actually engage with and have some success at. The, the best part of goalball is being able to try and get past someone else's goal and feel really good about yourself when you do. Um, and being able to block a ball and feel so strong as a person. Over the last three weeks, I have really enjoyed following Sean Kendrick and learning about goalball. It was an amazing learning experience for me and gave me an incredible insight into vision impairment sport.